Hello everyone. Yes, you read that title correctly. I definitely changed my photo card collection binders yet again. I think a few of you may have been able to tell in some of my recent videos that I was just not very happy with where my collection was at. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I did get rid of quite a lot of things, which I will go over in this video as well. It won't be a full photo card collection video, but I will kind of do a quick little, you know, showcase of what's in what binder and what I got rid of, etc, etc. And I know last time I filmed one of these videos, a lot of people asked why I didn't film myself actually converting the binders, like putting, taking the photo cards out of one binder and putting it in the other. And that's just because it stresses me out to film things like that. I don't know why. Whereas when I don't film things like that and I just go ahead and switch out the binders, move my photo cards around off camera, it's like super therapeutic. So I decided to not stress myself out and use it as a therapeutic device this time around once again. So you won't see me putting anything into the binders, but you will see what the binders look like now. But before we get into any of that, I do want to showcase this cute little thing that I recently got. Here it is. It is this little Divoom Bluetooth speaker. I've always wanted one of these and recently the company did contact me and asked if I would like to be sent one so that I could show it to you guys today. So I previously recorded some footage and we're just going to go through that with a little voiceover talking about this cute little device. Okay, so here we have the speaker. So it came in this little bag. I thought it was super cute. It's almost like a little present and it had all of the features and things that the speaker could do written on the bag. There was also this QR code to quickly download the app. It also came with this cute little I don't know booklet kind of showcased some of the other products that this company has. I really like the look of this Planet Nine one. It's so cute. There's also a cute little timeline on the back that showcases the history of this company. Then we have the device itself. So like I said, it came in this cute little bag, but it also came with some plastic wrap around it as well. Also this little business card that showcases its 30 day guarantee. So here is the device itself. Let's just get it right out of the plastic. So it came in this really cute travel case. I love it. It almost looks like a little mini TV. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it, um, but I really like it. It took me a hot minute to figure out how to open it though, but it was really easy once I did figure it out. And there you go. So it's a completely reusable container or travel case, which I absolutely love. And then here we have the speaker itself. I picked this kind of hunter green, olive green color. I just thought it was super cute and it suits a lot of my uh, color schemes and things like that. Very much my own personal style. I also love peeling these little stickers off of new electronic devices. <laughs> So here we have all of the little buttons and I love the clicking sound that they make. So yeah, overall a very sleek device and it had some really good weight to it as well. So let's turn it on. This is me just pushing buttons without reading a manual to kind of see what I could figure out on my own. And then 
there was this little foam divider that was in the carrying case. And behind that, we could see the USB cable as well as the manual. So here we have the USB cable. Um, I didn't read too much into it, but I'm sure it's just to charge the speaker itself. And there's your very standard USB cable. And we have the manual. It looks thick, but it was only a couple of pages per language, so there were just very, very many languages in this little thing. And then it also came with some stickers, which you know how I feel about stickers. I love them. I probably won't use them on the device itself, but maybe for the bullet journal. And there you have all of the contents that came with the speaker. Now it's time to kind of play around with the different features. Firstly, I was trying to figure out how to change the screen to be a custom design. There's a lot of designs that you can choose from that are already created in the app, but you can also design your own if you really feel like it. I obviously went ahead and searched for an NCT themed one, and here it is on my device. <laughs> So there you have it. That was the little Divoom D2 speaker. I absolutely love it. I love this green color that I chose. And yeah, I do have an affiliate link down below or just a regular link as well that you can use if you are interested in purchasing one for yourself. But without further ado, let's start talking about my binders. Okay, so firstly, I'm just gonna quickly talk about what has stayed the same. So that is the large white binders that you have seen so often on this channel and they usually, or they do, all revolve around my alt groups. So this one is SF9s. Um, again, I'm not gonna do a full flip through of these. You can check out my latest complete photo card collection video for that if you'd like to see, or you can stay tuned to upcoming sorting photo card videos where you will see these binders more in full. But yes, I have four large white binders like this, the first being for SF9 as well as P1 Harmony and N Flying are at the back. So that is the first of the big white binders that has not changed. And then we have the NCT binder, which once again has not changed. And this binder houses all NCT units. So that's 127, Dream, U, Wavy, whatever NCT releases goes into this binder here. And again, not going to do a full flip through, but nothing has changed. So if you want to go and check out some of my older videos, go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, I still got to set this up for NCT 127's new album release. So excited for that. But as usual, by SM standard, we don't really have a lot of album details yet, so very excited about it though. And then we have the third large white binder, which hasn't changed, and that is all Victon. So again, a pretty extensive collection because they are one of my alts, but yes, this binder also has not changed. And then the very last of the large white binders that has not changed is Woods. And I did recently post a video of me putting away all of my colorful trauma photo cards. So if you'd like to see that, I will link it up above as well. But probably one of my favorite collections, one of my favorite binders, and it will not be changing anytime soon. Okay, so you might remember that I had these little jelly binders as well as some pieces of moment binders that I recently converted my collection into. Well, long story short, I didn't really love them. And I think we all knew it the second that I changed my collection over to these, that I wasn't going to be happy. Don't know why I did it. I still really love this daisy binder, but it was just too chaotic, too messy, too colorful for my particular tastes, and I definitely knew that going into it, but 
for some reason I fell into the trap of colorful pastels which is just so not me so not my brand and I finally admitted it to myself um, but don't worry, I'm not going to throw these out or anything. I had um, a friend who recently started collecting Astro, so I gave one of the binders to her because um, she didn't want anything too crazy. She just wanted something so she could protect her Astro photo cards. Um, but otherwise, I'll probably, you know, try and sell them on like Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji or something like that. I have a lot of albums I need to sell as well, so maybe I can do a package deal. I don't know, but don't worry, not going to throw them out. I know it's a waste. And I also know what you're thinking, <laughs> wasn't it expensive to switch everything over and now to switch everything into something else? And it wasn't cheap, it wasn't expensive, but yeah, it's, you know, it isn't ideal. <laughs> but mentally, I couldn't handle having my collection in these anymore. It just, was, it didn't feel like me. It felt wrong. So I fixed it. So you might be wondering, where did I put the photo cards? Well, <laughs> I'm about to show you. So yeah, let's just get into it. So I may have purchased some Beyond D binders. Many Beyond D binders. Quite a lot of Beyond D binders. Maybe a few more Beyond D binders. So yeah. I switched out every single jelly binder and every single pieces of moment binder that I had into Beyond D binders, which is probably what I should have just done in the first place. They're all consistent in color. They're, you know, black and white. <laughs> they're just, they just suit me so much more and they're just so much more structured and visually appealing in my personal opinion. So that's what I decided to do. But. I'm gonna go through each of them with you now. I'm not gonna flip through everything, but I am going to discuss what's in them and what has changed. So let's start with this one here. So we can clearly tell that Yosang from ATs is here on the cover, and that is because my ATs collection is in here, as well as Ace. Um, so yeah, um, I put little paper fillers so that the photo cards on the next page don't interfere with this. I think it's a lot cleaner that way. And then yeah, we have my ATs collection that starts off this binder at least. Uh, one thing that I did change was the amount of pre-order benefits that I had for Yesung. I kept my favorites, I kept them in multiples of, well that's not even pre-order benefits, it goes up to here. Um, yeah, I just don't love pre-order benefits anymore, especially for groups that I don't consider to be like top alts of mine. Obviously I love ATs. Obviously, I love Yosang. I, you know, they're just like one of my favorite groups of all time, but I don't consider them at alt status. So there really is no reason for me to own every single thing. Obviously, there's a few here that I just couldn't get rid of because I thought they were cute. I wanted to keep a few from each of the albums that I had purchased them from. Um, but yeah, and then there was a lot of non-album. Well, maybe not. I don't think I collected a lot of non-album for Yosang, but I kept four and that was it. Kept four Japanese cards and that was it. And then we have like... The group cards at the back but yeah like i said pre-order benefits not really <laughs> i don't want to collect a lot of them anymore the only person that i want to collect them all for is woods so that is the plan moving forward and then for ace again i put a little piece of paper to divide the two groups but for june um for the first couple albums at least i don't have like i think it's the first two albums they're just really expensive and hard to get and then the photo cards for the ones after that were also a little bit rough i did have every single photo card from i think it was butterfly fantasy onwards but i have decided i don't want to collect every single card for june for every album coming out in the future um so basically what i've done well, i mean obviously it'll be a little while for a new album to come out for reasons but um, what I've decided to do is just keep things in multiples of four if I could. So this is just from the first couple albums that I did have. This is from Butterfly Fantasy. And then, you know, we just move on. Album per album, I kept multiples of four. And then in terms of pre-order benefits, again, don't want a lot for groups that I don't consider alts. So I kept my four favorites and that's that. And then these were just some other inclusions from the album. So yes, just really trying to minimize what I collect. I just feel like I had 
too much and it was time to shrink things down. So yeah, I knew that this size of a binder would be helpful in doing that, but I think I just chose the wrong binders to do it with. So we are correcting my mistakes and we have purchased some Beyond D binders to do that. Anyways, let's look at the next one. So next up, as you can see, we have BTS, but 17 is also in this binder. This one's a little full, so I might need to buy another to divide these two in half eventually in the future. We'll see. But for BTS, nothing has changed. I basically just collect everything for Shoka, but moving forward, where does it begin? Right here. Um, I do want the compact version of Selfie for him because that is the version of the album that I purchased. I just didn't pull him. Um, but that is the only card I'm going to be collecting from Proof. And I think moving forward, what I'm going to be doing with BTS is just picking one version and collecting one or wh however many pulls it comes with of Sugar's versions. And that's it, if that makes sense. So if an album comes with one photo card, I'll collect one selfie of his. If it comes with two, I'll collect two, if that makes sense. So that's the changes for upcoming BTS collections. And then for 17, I collect Woozy and I had everything up until, oh, what was it? Was it, which album did I collect everything for? It might have gone up until Ataka, I believe. But then afterwards, um, starting with this new album here, uh, I collected one version of the album and I collected the four photo cards to go with it. So again, I'll probably just be doing multiples of four for Woozy moving forward. So this was the carrot version. And then over here is where I will be putting the Sector 17, the four cards that I chose for that. So that's how I'm going to be collecting Woozy moving forward. And then again, anything that was extra, I kind of got rid of, except for this little four pocket page because I love it. And then I kept this card on the back too because I love it. I couldn't get rid of it. And then I kept this little Mingo. As you know, I do have two of his selfies from this album as well, but they are featured elsewhere. And you'll see that in an upcoming moment of this video <laughs> but yeah so that is everything for bts and 17 like i said this one is a little full but because i'm shrinking down both collections i don't think i need to separate them yet but it might need to happen in the near future and then next up we have very very of which i collect two members these are not the two members i collect i do collect gehan but not yano but i don't have a photo of gehan and minchan so if i can find one in the future i will pop it in there but this one is also pretty full, um, but it is only just very, very. It's just that I collect two members and they have a lot of inclusions. It's not bad, like it's not bursting at the seams, but you know. So anyways, nothing has changed here. I have not changed the way I collect very, very. I am still missing a few cards from their most recent album, but everything stayed the same. The only thing was I did get rid of a few pre-order benefits and I won't be collecting pre-order benefits for them moving forward even though they are well they're not an alt but they are very close to being an alt for me but um yeah no no more pre-order benefits for me no more fan sign cards none, none of that so that is the update on very very not big of an update there um one thing i do want to mention though is that there's these little like holes for key rings and i have ideas for what i want to attach to these but i just haven't gotten around to it yet because that's even more money to spend that i don't want to spend <laughs> right now but let's move on to the next one so next up we have this little binder here and as you can see I do not have a photo in it yet and that's because I couldn't find any in my little freebie pile that fit this binder. So this binder houses a few different groups. It has only one of as well as one us and one we and if I could turn it purple kiss as well as last so there's quite a few groups in here and it's still quite a thin binder like there's not a lot of stuff in here as you can see and that's just because each of these groups doesn't really drop a lot and also i don't collect everything for every single one of these groups so for only one of i do collect everything for kb however for the recent album there was a lot of photo cards so what i'm doing instead because i want one copy of every member's single album i'm going to be um 
collecting them that way. So instead of collecting all of KB's cards, I'm going to do one per member per single that they're releasing right now. And then that's it. As for pre-order benefits, every time I've ordered an album, um, it's come with a K-Town for you pre-order benefit, I think. Except for this one I might have purchased online. I don't know. Anyways, kept the four. If I get four more, I'm okay with it. And then we have some of the unknown art pick sets back here as well. And then for One Us, I only collect one photo card per release for Huanung, and I only collect one album per release, so it works out pretty perfectly. For One Wee, I do collect everything for Yongun, but he has recently enlisted, so I won't be adding anything new here for a little while. And then for Purple Kiss, I do collect two photo cards per album just because it comes with two. Um, these ones were gifted to me, so I wouldn't have normally had four for this one album, but it is what it is. Um, I don't have anything for MEMEM. -E um, I just haven't been able to trade for anything and I haven't purchased anything. And I have one from, oh my gosh, Geeky Land. I have one from Geeky Land on the way, but um, I do have a few other photo cards to trade for Doshi equivalents. If anybody so wishes to, you can check out my Instagram. And then for a last, I did recently purchase the selfie that I want to go here. Um, I don't have his other clear card though to put down here, so I might have to actually hold on. The selfie is going to go here, the other clear card down here. This section over here is for the two Dark Dream photo cards, which I do not have. But I do have cards, again, to trade for them if you happen to have one June. I know it's an older album, but yeah, so that's this little one. And now I need to find like something to put here. I don't know if I want it to be KB or Huanu or Yongun or Doshi or Wanjun. could literally be any of them, but I literally don't have a single photo to put here of any of them. So going to have to figure that out. Next up, we have Stray Kids, and as you can see, I do have this little keychain here. I don't think I'm going to keep it there, but it was gifted to me. I do have this hilarious photo of Chen Bin, though, that I think needs to stay. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Stray Kids binder. I believe it's, maybe it's, no, it's not just Stray Kids. Who else is in here? Oh, Extraordinary Heroes. That makes sense. So for Chung Bin, nothing has really changed other than the fact that I got rid of almost every single pre-order benefit and non-album card that I had in here for him or for Felix or for Lino. And that is just because I don't want anything that is not album for Stray Kids. So yes, that is just a decision that I decided to make for myself. And then as for Extraordinary Heroes, this is what I have so far. Um, I do want to collect all cards for Jungsu, so I am missing two from the most recent album. It's just been kind of hard to find them. So if you would like to cross trade, if you have them, I have a lot of stuff on my Instagram that I'm willing to cross trade to things. I'd also probably be willing to purchase them if they are priced reasonably, but yeah. I think he's so cute. I love him. I love their music so much. So I have decided to try and collect him in full, at least for the time being. But that is this little binder. And now we can move on to the next one. So second last of the Beyond D binders, we have the Taemin and Shumin binder. So yes, for Taemin, I recently downsized a lot and only kept one photo card per release. So that's what I've done there. And the same happened for Schumann. I don't even collect all of EXO's albums, but I did happen to complete my Schumann collection and then I decided to shrink it back down to one per release. So that's what's going on here. And then from a few of the EXO solo albums I've, or, uh, that I've collected, like Baekhyun and Kai, I just put their cards here. And then we all know how much I loved Obsession, so I decided to get one card per member for that. But otherwise, actually, <laughs> I was gonna say otherwise, no big changes, but that was a pretty big change to go from collecting everything for Taemin and Schumann to go down to one card per release, but yes. And then we have Super M in the back here. Nothing has really changed other than I got rid of the tour cards that were not Taeong, Ten, or Taemin. Um, and that was it. So I only kept their inclusions from that tour photo card pack. And yeah, so we only have one more Beyond D binder to go, so let's take a look. Last but not least, we have Juhan of Monster X. So again, nothing too crazy has changed here other than 
the fact that i mean this is old news but i stopped collecting kihan a while ago i am still missing obviously a few cards from their recent album for juhan but um in terms of non-album cards i got rid of a lot i got rid of all the japanese cards and um, a lot of non-album things i kept my favorites on this four pocket page here and that was it and i kept some to talk on because i think they're so cute um but then yeah i just have some unit cards which i won't be getting rid of and then i have some of the photo cards from the photo books and dvds that i've collected over the years but otherwise um i got rid of quite a lot and that's again nothing against monster eggs nothing against juhan i just felt overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that i had and i just don't feel the need to own everything for everyone anymore so that was the change there now before we leave like i said that is the end of the beyond e binders but i do have two other little mini binder updates if you will so you might be wondering where the heck is omega x <laughs> and this is what i've decided to put them in for now i do know that they make six pocket um beyond e binders that i think i'd like to try for them but i just haven't purchased one yet i don't know if i actually want to yet but this is what i found because i collect three members <laughs> there we go i thought this would work out perfectly so this is just how it is for now because i don't have a lot of cards for them currently this works out fine in the meantime but yeah i'm very happy with it i think it's very cute I love the three pocket setup. I do have this hand on the way, so my collection will be complete very soon. But yeah, and that's all I have for Omega X. I do have a few pre-order, or sorry, I think I have some unit cards here as well. And then I have some pre-order benefits that I decided to keep in which I collected for all three of my top biases. And then anything extra out of these pages that I had, I got rid of. So feels a lot cleaner to me. Love it. There it is. And then lastly, I got this very cute collect book. I did post about it on Twitter. Um, and no, it is not only for Yanan. <laughs> it is basically my little one-off binder. And as you can see, it's quite full already. I'm going to need to buy another one. But basically, this is now for random albums that I purchased where I don't collect everyone for or... Um, cards or like members that I got rid of that I stopped collecting but I need to keep one etc so we have a few yen and here because I just love him so much but I cannot collect everything for him or pentagon <laughs> and then we have the hockey mark that I will never get rid of we have some yesung of super junior we have key and I left a spot for his new album I accidentally left like too many spots I think I just skipped a page by accident so I will put something else here eventually and I have a few winter, which actually I do have a winter photo card I can put away, but that's for another video. Um, and then we have Kai, and I did keep this one extra pre-order benefit for Omega X because it's so cute. And I have a few Wusung cards, one from the Rose and one from his solo album. I have some Hyunjae's that I just could not part with. And I did keep the two albums that came with these, so that's why it feels complete to me. I have this one uh, Hwal or Hyunjun, Hyunjun card that I refuse to get rid of. And then we have Juan of Tan. We have the two Minghao cards that I was telling you about would make an appearance later on. Then we have some Tale of Block B, JB of Got7. Mill of only one of this pre-order benefit of Changbin that I loved but did not want to keep in the Stray Kids binder because it felt out of place but I couldn't get rid of it. Look at that red eye, so cool. And then we have Hyunsu of PNX, Jahan of Kingdom, which by the way, I did decide to part with Kingdom, but I love this card so much, so I kept it. Then we have Dehan of Weihai, who I also got rid of basically everything except this card. Got rid of everything for Hyojin except for this card of on and off. I got everything, got rid of everything of CIX Sungun, but kept this and kept this little signed BX that somebody gifted to me. And that is the end of this little binder. And as you can see, I have one page left. So I'm gonna need to buy another one for any upcoming albums that I purchase that um, I just wanna keep the one off card and that's it. And I think that's a healthy decision for me to have made with a lot of the collections that are in here. So there's this, it's very cute, it's very tiny, I love it. So that was my little photo card binder collection update. 
I'm very happy with the choices I have made. I think this time around, I don't feel any type of regret like I did before with my other binders. I know, I know. We all knew it. I think we all knew it, but here we are. At least I have corrected my mistakes and went with something that feels more me. So anyways, you'll be seeing a lot more of these binders, obviously in upcoming sorting photo card videos and things like that. So if you want to see those, please do subscribe, stick around, and I will have much, much, much more content coming soon. But until then, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to Divoom and D2, the little speaker. I love it so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.